Thank you for tuning in to the first edition of Muscle Mondays. This week we'll be discussing two muscles, your latissimus dorsi and your teres major. The first muscle we are going to discuss today is the latissimus dorsi, also known as your lats. This muscle originates on your thoracic and lumbar spine, as well as two bones in your pelvis, your ilium and your sacrum. The muscle inserts on the intertubercular groove located near the proximal anterior medial humerus, that is the upper front of your upper arm bone. The actions this muscle will take, because it is so large, act, works on the shoulder as well as the scapula. On your shoulder, the muscle will allow adduction, extension, internal rotation, and transverse extension. On your scapula, it will depress, downwardly rotate, and adduction. Basically what that means is the large muscle on your back will move your shoulder blades and upper arms together behind your body. The second muscle we'll discuss is your teres major. This muscle isn't known by any other name but the muscle starts at the inferior angle of the scapula. What that is, is it's the bottom point of your shoulder blade. The muscle will insert on your proximal humerus, which is just the closest part of your upper arm bone. It inserts right near where your lats insert as well, <coughs> which is why these muscles work so well together. The actions of this muscle are only on your shoulder joint and they allow internal rotation, extension, and adduction. Three movements we saw also with your latissimus dorsi. In other words, this is a smaller muscle that works alongside your lats to perform the same actions on the shoulder. In this image, you'll see the latissimus dorsi as the large muscle located in the bottom. You can see that that muscle is spread over the majority of your torso and it connects on that upper front side. That's the wrapping around that you see on the left edge. The teres major is the smaller muscle on the right side of your body and it connects from the bottom of the scapula up into the front side of your arm as demonstrated in this picture. From this point on, we're going to show you some exercises you can do at home or in the gym, depending on what type of equipment you have. As you sit down in your lap pull down, reach for the bar at the angle that it dips downwards. Sit up as tall as you can, lean back slightly from your waist, and pull the bar directly to your chest and no lower. Focus on squeezing your elbows behind your back at the bottom of contraction and slowly return to the starting position. Complete repetitions until your set is complete. Bend forward from the waist and allow the bar to hang directly below your shoulders. Using your back muscles, pull the bar and touch just above your belly button and below where your ribs split. Maintain a neutral spine and a neutral, neutral cervical spine by looking down and not looking up towards the wall. Sink your hips back into the same position as your bent over row. Allow your arms to stretch up towards the attachment point, allowing the muscle to extend to its fullest length. Focusing on squeezing under your armpits as you pull the bar close to your body and behind you. Return your controlled manner to the top, allowing that full stretch before completing another rep. Focus on breathing. Always exhale on exertion. So breathe in as you return the weight to the start. Breathe out as you complete the rep. Position your hand directly under your shoulder and your knee under your hip, maintaining a neutral spine. Focus on pulling with your back the weight up to just below your ribs. This will keep the focus on your lats and not your upper back muscles. Position your grip just outside of your shoulders. Pull your body up to the bar, allowing your chin to reach over. Return to a dead hang position in between each rep before completing your next repetition. Assume a supine position with a band attached to a low lying area. Allow your arms to stretch over your head, keeping tension on the band as you contract under your arms, pulling towards your belly button. Using bands will make the contraction hardest at the very end of the motion. Be sure to position yourself appropriately to be able to complete the repetition with proper form. In order to stretch the muscle, I want to move in a pattern opposite of the action of the muscle. Here I hold onto something nearby while taking a knee and I push my hips back and away. This allows my muscle to stretch 
and I hold for 15 to 30 seconds, making sure I'm able to breathe comfortably before coming out of the stretch. Thank you for joining us for week one, focusing on lats and the terrace major. Hopefully you tune in next week.